The two men who were met by family members and friends at the gates of the Ventruck Central Correctional Facility after having completed all release formalities were in custody for 16 years, awaiting trial before being sentenced to an effective eight years in jail for their part in the violent insurrection in 1999. When they were arrested, Dr. McIntano was 32 years old and in May he celebrated his 56th birthday. But in his own words, Dr. McIntano did not take it lying down. Instead, he took his fate in his own hands. When he entered the correctional facility upon his conviction, he was already a first degree holder, having graduated in humanities and social sciences from UNAM in 1998. He humbled himself and devoted his time in jail for his self-development, completing four degrees, including his doctorate in management, in two years with the University of South Africa. Dr. McIntano published several research articles in international journals, while his book on the mixed method in research is due to be released imminently. Dr. McIntano is now finalizing his second doctorate in sociology. So my plan is that as I'm, I'm a free man today, from tomorrow or any day, I want to be a lecturer. Because this, this knowledge which I acquired today, which I acquired in this prison for 24 years, I, don't, I want to impart it to my fellow Namibians, to the institutions of higher learning, all the learners specialized in research, especially in research, because we are having problems in research. So any type of research, either qualitative, quantitative, mixed method. That is my specialization. During his incarceration, he lost his mother and three siblings and is now yearning to return home to visit their final resting places. Dr. Makendano says life in the correctional facility was not easy, but self-discipline and commitment was key to his success. I thought to myself, even if I'm going to be worried with my sentence, it, will going to, it, will, it won't assist me. I've already been sentenced. Let me focus on my future life. What am, how am I going to live when I go outside here? The last thing is that also, before, before the last, I want to appeal to all people outside there who are having family members in prison here. Please come and visit your, your families. Come and su support your families. Don't abandon your families. From, uh, from these ones from prison, the abandoned ones, God is providing them, them with wisdom and knowledge. What I have achieved also, what I have learned in terms of life in prison, I could not learn it when I would be outside for 24 years. Now I'm a grown-up man. For Rodwell Sihela, the taste of freedom is sweet and his feet are itching to go home to the Zambezi. He served his time and in his presence you could sense an urgency and a sense of purpose. I'm very happy because God provided me all necessary which I, want, I wanted to. I achieved whatever I achieved, I'm going to use it when I go outside. And what I want to, to encourage other people outside, we must not have too much tribalism to one another. We must build, we must love each other, we must not point one fingers. What is done is done. Now we must start. Uh, the second page. For Dr. Makindana, who is well respected and as an NBC News team witness, correctional officers coming to say goodbye, it rings true, respect goes both ways and what goes around comes around.